And hello, everybody. Ah, welcome to this. Hopefully this is uh, going to sound all right today, because a uh, new mic setup, which is impressive. So let's see how this goes. So, if you read the title, or the tweet, or just coming in, we're doing more Sailor Moon on Game Boy today. I know last time I said, let's never do this again. But I'm vaguely enamored with this game. <laughs> it's kind of cool and really impressive for the Game Boy. I'm also curious how it handles uh, other levels, like other episodes, because this is based on the first five to six episodes of the game, um, of the game, of the show. For those of you who weren't around last session, basically the game's split into two parts. Uh, the first is a wandering around, talking to people section which kind of tries to summarise the episode plot and often fails miserably. They're also hard to navigate, as uh, if you watched the VOD of the last session, about an hour was spent on the second level trying to find a door, and the second half is this run-and-jump bop kind of level, kind of like a really bad um, scrolling beat-em-up. But yeah, I thought we'll do some more, we'll see where this goes from there. So yeah, welcome to Sailor Moon the Arcade Game. Did I get a set the arcade game? No, Sailor Moon the Game Boy game. So yeah, this is the game itself. Let me just make sure the controls are working. Yes! Oh, so this came up last session. Uh, there are two difficulty settings in this game, boys and girls, and it is literally, and I'm going to turn the game input down a tiny bit, give me a moment. Oh, technical problems. There we go. Uh, literally, the difference is girls gives you more lives and more hits. I did consider going to girls mode, then changed my mind because that means redoing the first level. We are going to be save stating a lot with this because, well... I'm lazy, and this uh, the walking segments take forever, so I don't really want to bore you by doing those. So, yes, welcome to the bop section of level 2. We have three lives. If you hold down, Usagi cries, and this is how you get power-ups. She has a vertical leap that would make Michael Jordan jealous, and she can kick the Grim Fandango. Oh, yeah, so there's these little mask guys who are annoying. Because Yusaki jumps when she kicks, and she has a really slow wind-up. So, uh, this game, I think we've got to be really conservative. Let things come to us. And, oh. You know, really be slow and steady. Oh, wow. So, like, that many hits this early. Yep. This game is difficult because, because it's difficult. The hit detection, as you can probably tell, is a bit wonky. Usagi's kick uh, has like a weird little wind up to it and like a weird little cooldown. So you can't, like this is as fast as the kick will come out if I just hammer the button. Like there is no tomorrow. That is the Disguise Pen, which I don't want to get. Because the Disguise Pen, um... Kind of acts as a shield, but you can't cry when you have certain items. And what, we, what we're looking for here is the Wand, which is, as we were calling it last session, the Sailor Gun. Because it gives me an actual ranged attack, and I really need one of those. Oh... Here we go. Sailor gun time. Oh, I just realized the sailor gun heals you. Heals you. Oh, yeah, see, I can't cry with this. Section two. So things at least don't randomize in this game, so... Oh. Hitboxes, children. Hitboxes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Welcome to uh, why I'm safe stating. Because this game is a 
the janky. Also, remember that point of uh, the first episode of Sailor Moon, where you saw you repeatedly super kicked a bat to death? Feels like that's literally there because they know you're gonna like run out of health this early on. Well. Hmm. Oh, there's so much like backing up and if Soggy moves like a cow on a skateboard, this is oh here we go. There we go. Ah, here we go. So this is the boss, uh, the boss of the second level. This is the episode two. So this is the school stuff. I say that as Apple tries to update. Thank you, Apple. Ah. Apple heard the brainwashing program has been inserted and is like, oh, time for an update then. Yep. Doesn't want the, ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I haven't touched this game for like a week. And I forgot that um, Tuxedo Mask can see forever. So, here we go. We did this boss a couple of times last session. It's going to be a case of being really conservative with our moves. So what you have to do with this boss is you... Oh, Sailor Gun went through her? We had a Sailor Gun failure. But you've got to use the enemy's like hit stun... I can't actually hit her. That's unfortunate. Can I only hit her in the butt? Oh, can I not can I just not hit her in this form? No. Can I kick her? Am I missing something really important here? Yes, yeah, so you gotta do that and then run through her at high speeds. Oh, like this is the most this this is kind of what I remember the Game Boy for. Games that tried really hard, but failed miserably. And I hope you've all brought a flask of tea along, because if I recall from the first fight, this will take a while. Siepsi, didn't move fast enough. Spam the kick too much, and I got stuck. So Sailor Gun isn't actually useful in this fight. She's just immune to the Sailor Gun. Music's good though. It's a good, like, the, some of the music in this game is really cool. Oh, I didn't hit the button in time. Oh. We're not going to continue because continuing, um, as we found last time, will literally throw you back to the walking segment. And that walking segment was so annoying, I have no intention of ever doing it again. There we go. That's the sky's pen. There's also in a later section uh, the item we got last time, which is uh, the watch that freezes time, uh, which I think is actually the worst item in the game. Like, because it. it Stops enemies. Unfortunately, it stops them in a way that actually fills the screen. Oh, that... Thank... I'm not sure how to avoid him yet. Come on, Usagi. Kick everything. If it's a living being, kick it to death. Did I miss the sailor gun? If I did, we are in problems. This game again proves why it is beautifully annoying, because Isa there it is. Isagi's hitbox um, for the kick is basically her, like the, the sole of her shoe 
is packed with radioactive waste, so it kills anything on contact. But uh, her leg or anything else is useless and cannot hurt things. So yeah, that's good, good news for everybody. Ah, there we go. I'm probably going to regret this because I, if, if the boss isn't affected by the sailor gun, but, um, well, there we go. So many hits. Yeah, last hit gone. Weirdly, the sailor gun. Wait, did the sailor gun in the boss fight give me an extra hit or something? Because I didn't die when I ran out of shield. Because I got time to use the kick again. Oh, this is this is this is joyous, children. You need to stop ducking him. You can't duck him. He's too low. You need to jump. I think maybe my aim now is to just not kill. Let's. Some of this it kind of like these little bits with these sort of groups of bats reminds me of Castlevania 1 or Ghouls and Ghosts. Except rather than having like very fast, precise jumping, you have. Yeah. <laughs> History hasn't burned that out yet, uh, Masky Boy. You have this very stiff jump and very slow movement. Oh, oh, the boss does give you a heal. That's useful. You know, you have this very slow, stiff movement. Can I go in the butt? No, she's moving too fast. Also, I still, like, imagine dodging that projectile on the original Game Boy because of the resolution. Like, obviously, emulation means I'm playing this at uh, about 2.5 of the original resolution with some nice smoothing effects to make it, you know, more watchable on Twitch. And this is a uh, sort of... Olé! There we go. It's like bullfighting, except involving anime and exceedingly boring. Don't think she changes form or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. Over we go. Into the air! Uh, yeah, this was the theme in the first boss as well. Uh, bosses take too many hits. Oh, I can't jump, what? Ooh, that was annoying. Okay. I think we've got to at some point. Like, you know, this is a bit long for a fight. Yeah, if it was through the Game Boy, you would have been out of batteries by now. I like we had to have gone to the store and brought a small nuclear power plant. I mean, I give the Dark Kingdom credit. They did invest in, you know, staff members who can take several kicks to the face. Come on. See, I'm getting kind of into a rhythm, but that's bad, because that means I'm going to fuck up at any moment. Oh, that was close. Like, you've got to wait for the last minute to kick her, or she won't be able to get through her body. Like, at first I thought I was cheesing this, but I don't think I am. I can't think of any other way you would deal with these bosses, because they take up... Oh, I've got to stop doing that. They take up most of the screen...
how many hits do you take? Oh! Ah! Usagi's uranium-filled shoes. Triumph again. Ah, yes. Uh, those of you weren't here last session uh, missed the joy that is. Luna is angry. Because whoever did the art for this game was really good, except they have a massive blind spot for cats. They cannot draw a cat to save their life. You could feel the dark energy earlier. Wait, what? Oh my. I kind of... I'm going to save a new slot because I'm like, oh. This is good, but at the same time... Uh, I've got one hit left. Don't make me do another boss fight with one hit. Oh! See, again, this is really good pixel art. I mean, if you ask so nicely. It's got, they've got a lot of different, like, screens for Usagi's facial expressions as well, which is really cool. It's just weird that because of that they apparently couldn't afford to have Luna. I'm already here. Oh, wait. the heck! Continuing will drop me back in the head. Continuing will do this. It will drop me back into the school, and I don't want to. Oh, I might. I might have to. We'll do one more shot with that uh, slot. But I have a strange feeling we may have um, balls ourselves unless there's an item. Really, they didn't. They didn't give you a heal. That is dickish. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, he's gonna jump. He's just gonna leap at me. What do you do after that? What the What I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to... I know I said one slot, but I'm nothing if not a hypocrite. Let's do this again. What does he... Do? We're going to uh, overwrite the slot here. So then hopefully, as I get the game working again, this will mean we can get a few shots to at least kind of work out what his pattern is. What's I just realise? He looks a lot like a Vault Boy. Right, Hadouken. Sproying. I'm gonna have to, like, run. Like, so fast to get to the other side of that screen. How am I gonna... This feels like, kind of, like... I'm playing a game with the wrong engine or something, like... I don't feel like I have the controls for this. There's only two buttons as a Game Boy, so... Uh... Yeah, come here. Come hither. You have so few seconds to dodge that hit. Will Tuxedo Mask save me? Ah. Hit me in the thigh. The thighs got sent to the Dark Kingdom. That's one way to lose weight, I suppose. This is really weird. It's like you literally have about three seconds to get out of his way. Can I hit him during that hop, maybe? No, because he'll just... I must... Hmm, I, ha I have an idea. I have an idea, children. This may not go well for us, but I have an idea. Can I try and super kick him in the air so he, like, fly through me? Not if I do that, I can't. Welcome to Dante's idea of purgatory, everybody. Welcome to the rest of the stream. Um, like, he's too quick. If 
I go here? Can I line myself up with these? No, he jumps too fast there. We're gonna go back a state and see if I can do the other boss fight with slightly more health. Let's get that set up. Because, yeah, at the moment, I'm not sure how this is doable without one hit. I immediately take a hit. Let's just reset that bit there. Hey, welcome to me safe scumming. Oh, wrong slot. Let's not go back to the uh, can't win fight. Yeah, I think there's going to be a major problem upcoming of that... Okay, play conservatively. Will he just... Yeah, he'll just walk through me. Oh, no, they'll come back. The committee are here. Oh, that's not good. So if I get a heal... Oh, is that what Tuxedo Mask is doing? Oh... That's what the Tuxedo Mask thing is about. He's giving you a... Heal? The game just, like... That's one of the interesting things about this game, and it kind of reminds me of a lot of uh, sort of licensed games of like the early PS1 era. Oh man, I'm taking a beating. The kind of thing where you get these like licensed games that would sort of vaguely summarize the plot of whatever they were licensed to. And they, they would do it in this really piecemeal way. I presume because, you know, we don't want to give away the plot of our movie in the $30 tie-in game. We want you to go see the movie. And this does it in the same way. Like, there are references to things, but you'd have no idea what was going on if you hadn't seen those early episodes. So it's kind of like um, in the last segment, we had a thing about... Usagi's just sort of freaking out about dark energy, which, again, in the show, gets, like, at least sort of... I cannot jump sometimes, man. What's the Skies Pen doing? Oh, it's just the... Oh, the Skies Pen also heals me? Oh. And it doesn't mean you can't jump coming out of it. Okay. watch it's see the thing with this watch is it doesn't freeze enemies it just freezes them in place so these bats still have their float animation going oh when did it okay so oh how do i do oh man i see this is a game that feels like it should have much smoother jumping than it actually has for sections like this. An item? No item. Wow, that is... Like, some of these jumps are just, like... I hope you like hitbox abuse. Let's see. Will Tuxedo Mask heal me? If so, that's useful. Be careful drawing this one. I'm sure you'll win. Okay, let's pause at the start of the boss fight because we have... So it just resets your health to full. We're going to overwrite slot 4, which is the slot I've been using for this fight. Okay, so we want to try and preserve as many of our hits as possible. So let's play the game of count how many hits this fight takes. I'm curious. One! Spring. Two. Three. This is like Sesame Street, but for the terminally dull. Four. 
four. Sometimes your jump just doesn't work. Five. I'm not sure if it's because of my control setup, but I fiddled with a lot. I think it might be to do with, like, there's like a gap between animation starting and ending. Six. I think ten. Ten would be a. Oh, ten's still too many. Like, for a boss fight that's this, this simple, it's a bit. Seven. Still a few, like, this is still a bit too eight. Still a bit too simple for my liking. Yeah, this probably could have done with uh, something going on. Then again, if anything else is going on, you would need more attacks, which this game doesn't have. You just have the can can kick of doom. Oh, uh, like I think it, I think it's if you're not totally still. Nine. Uh, the jump just doesn't work. I think that's what it is. This is very awkward. Very, very awkward. Ten. It's not ten hits. Okay. Oh, no. Middle position. Fight like a flowchart, Yusagi. Fight like a flowchart. Like, this is all... If, I, if I'm, like, starting to move before I jump, the jump doesn't work. So I just literally take my hand off the D-pad. I think that's 12 hits. Jump, then move. Not move, then jump, basically. 13 hits. I'm trying to work out how to even beat the next fight because there doesn't seem to be many options where I can hit him without getting immediately hit back. 14 hits. 14 hits for that boss. And doesn't heal me. No item or anything around the area that I can use to heal myself up. There's gotta be, surely. I... So annoying the rocks in this area don't break. Even to reveal nothing. He can spring at me. Spring again. A Dukin. Can I lie myself right? Hadouken. Oh, okay, so I've got to kick him on the way in. I am literally having to young bucks him in the face. Yep, cool. So this is young bucks the boss battle. Wait for it to come near you. Kick it in the face. I'm down for this. Please don't also be 14 hits, though. Oh. After my timing up, mother. Oh, now we're now the world is doomed. It's growing. Oh, I... <laughs> Muscle memory, because of the last boss fight, is to jump whenever it does the springy. But, uh, you don't jump. You kick it. There we go. I think the collision for the kick is a bit different in this fight. Like, it feels a lot more forgiving when he's in that jump animation. Like there, like I'm not making perfect contact, but it's still giving me a hit, which is nice. Oh my god. How many times do you boot the Dark Kingdom in the face? Like, there's gotta be a time where he's gotta go, you know what? Jumping around like I've just taken a knee and I'm at a rave and Smile DK just came on, isn't an effective battle strategy. Let's try anything else, like bringing a gun, or launching more than one Hadouken at a time.
Please end. This is when I find out this is one of those games where they didn't finish it in time, so there isn't a last... Oh, there we go. D did I just kick him into orbit? Also, I get that he's wearing gloves and he's, like, holding his chest, but because of the angle, it looks a lot like Mickey Mouse is fondling his nipples. Uh huh See, this is one of the examples of that, because they kind of hint towards this in the talking segment, but there was no mention of her getting brainwashed or hurt. She just didn't want to eat lunch with the Sagi. So it kind of presumes you've seen the episode, if not... Oh, hello. Oh. Ah, level three. Oh, I didn't mention at the start, this is a translated ROM. This isn't so... This, there is some corruption here. Proof Haruna's been working out recently. <laughs> oh, this is the gym episode. Yeah, this is where all the bodybuilders get brainwashed to try and hunt down Sailor Moon. Hey, guess what we're doing? It's called saving a state because I am not doing that fight again. Oh, see, oh neat! We actually have her following us. So yeah, uh, this is now what? An hour into the stream and those of you who are new are just seeing the second phase. This is the sort of walk and talk. Can I talk to you? No. Basically talk to everyone, find Luna. You'll see me rubbing the ends of the screen a lot because, yeah, that happened last time. Oh, cutscene. Obstacle course of something. Believe that's a translation error. Obstacle course of something. Be weird if you had an obstacle course of nothing. Just a black void and you've got to jump over it. Also, sweat it out, dude. This man does not look trustworthy. <laughs> oh. Can I touch you again? Yeah, you do not look like a man I would trust with anything. Here, I'm gonna jump on you. Yeah, there's really good pixel art in these games. Is that where I came from? Right. But these are just really hard to navigate and to know what's a door and what isn't a door. Oh, hello. How am I late? Is this a door? No. Um, like, we were talking ten seconds ago. I know I move exceedingly slowly, but... I think uh, the key, the trigger event for all this is finding Luna in these levels. Oh, hello. Mars? Yes! In this sports gym. Yeah, I'll check it out while you just stand in front of these double doors, Mars. That's probably a very important role. Yeah, um, something this game does is the other scouts, because Amy was in the last level, but it doesn't introduce them. Like, you can't play as them, so they're just kind of there. Thank you for that, untrustworthy gentleman. Uh, is this a... Welcome to my point about it's very hard to tell what is a door and what isn't in this game. Oh, where am I now? Music is also... What are those? 
Ah, yes, we have our exercise bikes. And our snow white caskets? What are those even meant to... Are they meant to be treadmills? Like, it looks like the Ark of the Covenant. Ha! Your rules don't stop me. I can't read. Oh. <laughs> this gym has three valuable items. Our weird coats, exercise bikes, and our clones of the Ark of the Covenant. They said a gym would be weird to have biblical relics lying around, but we've proved them wrong. That's what happens if you don't uh, renew at the end of the contract. You have to open the Ark of the Covenant and you'll melt. What is going on with the perspective in this room? Uh, that's, the absolute, that's the obstacle course of nothing. Um, 1950s surfboards? Oh, are these to oh, they're dressing rooms. Oh, it's you again. teacher isn't feeling very goo. Also, I've still not worked the score for this game out. Because it's like a fixed number. I guess if you kill more of the enemies in the bop sections, but I don't think you can. Mmm. Pool full of tar. Actually, tar bathing is a thing, I recall. I don't know. I've never woken up with the desire to bathe in filth. Not yet, anyway. It's a hobby for the future. Right. I am very lost. This is interesting. Where am I going? <laughs> I said the boss fight was the end of the stream. This is the end of the stream. This is just the... Uh, me doing my best to find a way through and find a way to exit the bloody level. Now that's where the, the changing roomy things are. That's Mars. We had a talk. The talk boiled down to how dare you. Am I sure this is an enterable? I've got to keep pushing on the walls just in case um, one of them is open, like it was with the recording studio, because if not, oh, we're going to be in all sorts of problems. This area is off limits. This is probably where I'll come to initiate the second segment. So what we d I do know from the last level is that people's dialogue doesn't change. So rather than, like, say, having uh, Mars say something else, there'll just be two Mars in the level. Right, that takes you there. This takes you to the, to the room of perspective. Everybody's favourite room, the room of perspective. So I'm trying to like work out the map in my head so I know where to uh, go for future. And I'm not having a good time with it. Can't enter these. Those walls are closed. Hmm. Most confusing. Most confusing. Where am I going with this? Okay, that's that line. Let's do this one. gonna go that seems the better option in this situation just leave who cares about <laughs> there are dumplings to eat who cares about other people and their fitness worries also it's really weirds me out that door like 
Oh, well. So we have... This door takes us to the Pool of Infinite Tar. If you look closely, you'll see a tray drowning. This takes me to uh, the perspective room. That's where Morris hangs out, doing absolutely nothing. Dead end. This is the room of many hops. Uh, this brings me to here. Like it's, again, this looks like an exit, but it isn't. Hmm. In. Oh, there isn't a door like right after the other guy, is there? Like where he says you can't come in here. That wall isn't actually open, is it? Let's see. See, this is perspective room. Where I am forever stuck. Look, yeah, looking at the 50 surfboards. There's Mars. Oh, actually, that's... Nope, nothing there. Also a wall. <laughs> Imagine from their perspective, if someone comes into your gym and starts headbutting the walls. Like this segment again looks like a door, just isn't one. a wall. Hmm. Yeah, so I jump at you as revenge for denying the access. Oh, there's Luna. Okay, I am I going mental or was Luna not there before? Hello, you horrific hellspawn. Luna! How did you get in here? How do cats get into gyms? It's secretly an orange Julius. Luna, you're gonna have to... Oh. Let's save so we never have to deal with that problem ever again. Yes, I am a cheating bastard, but... So we have... Giant test tubes... And what seems to be mine... St uh, mine stone? Minecraft cobblestone? <laughs> this is the body shaper thing they use. Like the cocoons. Yes, that's the reaction to have to the situation, Isagi. Oh no! This is so... I love this bit. It's so well done. It's a pity it's attached to... Uh, like, it's the Herald of... Awful. It's the, it's the Herald of the Jumpy Game. Saving. Also, it kind of disappoints me that these fight areas are always the same background. Like, it made sense for the first one, because you have that kind of weird sort of... Why are there birds? Do I kill these? Okay. Can I just ignore them? Oh, will they z oh, they'll zoom at me when there's no timer. fun. So, right. One thing I'm learning, though, is I need to make sure I get items, I guess. Like, even if that means timing out, like, waiting for other items to spawn, because they heal me. I 
take the heels of the important bit. So they'll charge you. Okay, well, good luck. <laughs> ah, Hyper Mukeki Hisagi. It's gonna go well. Oh. Don't have control over that segment. Because at the end of the level. I still can have a jet set willy set situation there for a minute where uh, an enemy flies off screen with you and corrupts everything. Ah. The glory days of the ZX Spectrum, where everything could be broken with the utmost of ease. And I think this level feels like even the designers were like, this is awful, let's just give them invincibility. Sailor gun. Yeah, let's just give them every... Oh, I can't sailor gun the blooming slime. That's annoying. Oh, well, boss fight time. Oh, no. One more screen? Oh, we're back to these guys. These guys do die to the sailor gun. Yep. So I've got to, like, let go of the D-pad. If I hold the D-pad and try and shoot, it will not go through. It makes sense. Like, this Luna looks so angry, it makes sense. You just give, you know, just find a weapon. Like, love and justice can be backed up via the power of Hammer. Oh, hello. He looks so derpy in his sprite. Yet, in reality, he, like, is dressed like mid 80s, like, kind of Hawaii 5 0 villain, like you'd see on Baywatch. Like, he wants to destroy an orphanage with a nuke. And refuses to recycle. Are we actually in a boss fight now, or can I? Oh, the lunar broken poor of destiny. This image, like, no one has seen a cat. Yay! It's Jedi. Hello, Jedi. All your fan favorites are here. They're all still canonically weirdly queer. Oh. oh wow, like some of these like bits are just so hard. I'm gonna load because I don't want to get into a situation where I need uh, more saves. Uh, this is where I save myself into a, a pickle. So. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload that. I forgot that that wasn't invincibility. That was just good old fashioned time stopping. I forgot which Infinity Gauntlet power I had available to me. Right. Oh, like some of these segments, man. Like this is a game aimed at like six year olds, and I'm struggling. This is invincibility. The disguise pen makes you invincible. I guess it disguises you as a much tougher person? Kill him. Oh, okay. Is there... Is that direction, uh, like, hard-coded? Or is it, um, will it home in on me when I start? I think it might home? No, hard coded again. Okay. So part of this is going to be remembering 
which way each blob goes. And cry. Oh, can't do that one. That's it, everyone. Stand still to get a taste of shoe. The fantastic new jazz album coming this summer. A Taste of Shoe by Cara Braggings and his Bragging Orchestra. Featuring all your favourite shoe-themed classics. I left my shoe in San Francisco. Touched by a shoe. Don't stop wearing shoes. I'm running out of shoe-based songs. These are oh, the hitboxes. I need an item so I can heal. Yep. I told you it was off limits. Why don't you listen to me? Oh. It means to me that the one-up isn't like a sprite. It's just, uh, here's the thing. Do I get a heal? Nope. No heals for me. Oh, wow. Some of these sections feel almost like the game intends you to take a hit. And it's just a case of working out where those positions you can take a hit are. And I immediately whiff it. whiffed every single one of those. Oh my god. I am made of suck today. I am made of suck. There we go. I, I, my muscle memory does not want to like comprehend how stiff this game is. So, like, I keep trying to do, like, running attacks or, like, a running kick or something, and it's not a thing. That black blob comes at me from behind. There we go. I have to worry about it. I mean, that's all. Cool. Oh, I should, I should wait on that last screen, see if there's anything in that last block. I wonder if there's like another, like, sailor gun, or... Oh. These things track you, like... Got a sailor gun. I'm not sure if like it's an intentional design choice where it's like, hey, whatever you do, uh, don't attack things because attacking things makes your life way harder in the long run. Yeah, take this really slowly, and I might be able to get through with a good chunk of my hits. There's that delay, and when you get situations like that, there's so little you can do to stop it happening, man. I'm like, kind of trying to go as slow as possible. Cool, so I'm going to save this here, because I think that's a good place to start. 
And I'm going to use this moment. How long have we been going? Uh, we've been going for just over an hour. So I'm going to quickly have a be right back to stop my hand shaking and drink more coffee. Which isn't going to help the, uh, the hand shaking thing. Oh well. <laughs> feel refreshed and ready to fail this miserably. What's that shows? We have the little vines at the top of the screen. New asset. The budget was there, and they took it. Okay, here's Loon. Oh, I saved... I should have just saved the screen later, because just this screen is just, hey, have a chat with Demon Luna. Cool. Oh, uh, well, let's update the save anyway. Because this is Blob Hell. This is where Mr. Blobby came from. Oh god, I've got to stop referencing Mr. Blobby and things. I don't like him and he scares me. Why do I keep referencing him? I think I have some Freudian trauma sharing going on related to Mr. Blobby. Oh. No. Oh, I thought I was going to get him then. And I forgot to hold the button. Basically, I've got to get those things off. Oh, how do you... Like, how do you dodge something that can like does, doesn't have a pattern and can decide I'm going to hit you? Also, balls. Okay, so I'm hitting these like exactly the right time. They seem to duck a little bit when they jump. So, oh, forgot to hold the not hold the button again. And this is let's reload. These controls are so, like... I wish I could say... Oh, and immediately take a hit. Wow. I am bad at this today. These controls, like, they're so... Um, sensitive isn't the right word, but... Stiff. And you've got to be very definite with what you're doing. Hmm. 
like this feels like you can you can always feel how old this does remind me of like games on the old uh, 8-bit home computers so like spectrum and like those like early platformers just because they're so stiff and you have to be so definite like there's no sort of freedom of movement you've got to be okay What the hell? Everybody was kung fu fighting. I don't remember in the show him... Is he doing a handstand or is he just like... Propelling himself forward with farts? What the hell? You don't man see a doctor, it's not worth it. Should have saved this fight is the same fight as we had before. Just with kick flips. Now I can see Queen Beryl signing off on this. So the plan is very simple. You're going to act like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> no one will ever see it coming. I just realised he shrinks quite dramatically when he does that. <laughs> like he's compressing his spine to dangerous levels. <laughs> laughing so hard and me botch the jump. Come on. This is mercy at this point. There we go. The one-man gymnastics team has been killed. You could have told me that earlier, Luna. I mean... <laughs> you sucked it. What's cloning? <laughs> I appreciate the spunk, Usagi. I appreciate the spunk. Oh, the boss music immediately restarted. Where am I? Okay, we're straight back into a boss. So let's, uh... Okay, so what? They just got bored of doing pixel art, I guess. So now we're just, uh, in bot. Continually? Hey, at least it healed me. Where are the enemies? What? Why was Luna in a wall? I'm at it. Luna was in a wall. This must be where... Oh, now it's the little guys, but spiky? Cool. No, like... I'm now there like, oh, and the bats are back. Cool. I'm now trying to work out. Like, in the episode, was Luna in a wall? Like, did they trap Luna? I don't remember that. Then again, like if you weren't at the time watching the uh, show, good luck working out what's going on. No way. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Oh, these are bad. Time stop you again. For the, just for the heal at this point. But yeah, this kind of thing with these early license games where they don't want to give away the plot, but they have to have the plot somehow, because obviously, without the story, this kind of makes no sense. But they cut the story in such a way where if you haven't seen the show yet, you probably won't want to watch it, because the show sounds batshit. Oh. This segment is... Luna, get out of the wall! What? Take a break from what? We're not... Like, seriously, Luna. Also, I'm gonna... I am going to save, because we've been quite a while without saving, and I don't want to do all that again. 
Take a break from what? Usagi, take a break from murder with some more murder. That was just one of the devs talking to the dolls, wasn't it? Oh, one up. Cool. You're useless to me because I'm not you. Because I'm safe scumming, but uh. I kind of wanted to do this without safe scumming originally. But then I realised that just because of the continues and how long and how easy it is to get lost during the walking segments, it, this stream would take forever. And it wouldn't be very fun to watch. Desperately need an item. I'm not going to save going in just because I don't have uh, good health. Disguise Pen. I'm not sure why Disguise Pen gives you invincibility, but I guess that's from the early episode, it's only like a handful of objects you really have. Sailor Gun. Cool. If only the sailor guns like hit makes sense. Oh, like yeah, if you shoot, you are committed to that murder until that murder is done. Oh, it's the Tron team. The Tron display team have returned. Good to know. Oh, these are the worst. They have such an oblique angle they hit you at. Surely we're gonna punch him in the face. Ah, I love you. Oh, I was hoping everything would move slightly slower than I did. Oh, I was hoping I could like run there and get to the end of the level before. Uh... Oh no, I need to load my save. Oh, I think I may have just. Yeah, I just accidentally overwrit my slot. That's annoying. Oh well. Three lives is fine. Oh. Will he come back? The sailor gun wasn't particularly useful. Um, oh, time stop, not um. I need to stop confusing time stop and invincibility. The touch you saki explode into antimatter. Problem is without the gun, this section's quite hard. I'm gonna look. Again, I don't want to get in a situation with saves. Slow and steady wins the never ending race. Alright, can I. Commit. Commit to all your murders. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's it's uh, invincibility you can't cry with. This has nothing of use. Oh, I was about to... Did I just get healed there? What? Did I get healed coming out of the invincibility? Or because, I, or because I killed the guy during the... Like, how are you meant to dodge stuff like that? Let's keep an eye out. See how this affects... Yeah, 
Here's the gun. Good, because a lot of these guys coming, and these guys... These guys only respect gun. Saving. Yes, this game for small girls. Definitely record. Hello, Luna! What is that? I'm... I'm scared, Mommy. That is becoming... Well, that's burned into my nightmares forever, let's just be honest. Also, I, I want... I just want that on, like, a Polaroid I can have in my wallet. Just in case anyone tries to mug me, I can just pull that out and hold it at them like you hold a cross at Dracula and they'll run off screaming and shit themselves. Yeah, that face sums up, I have a feeling. I have a feeling I shouldn't have snorted that toilet duck. Yet yeah, you're the thing that's nearby. God, you're terrifying. Okay, at least it isn't. Stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's fake Luna. But if Usagi couldn't spot that, Usagi is more weird than I thought. Because that is... Do I just... Oh my... Can I kill it? While I'm saving, real talk, how me as a six-year-old Japanese girl, how was I meant to know that I had to walk back to find the other lunar there? Oh, this game is terrible sometimes explaining to you what you need to do. These probably have items in them. Oh, right, I'm Sailor Gun till death, apparently. I'm not sure how I meant to dodge those. Like, they come so quickly, and they, I, they, they come from this weird upward angle, my kick won't hit them. Do I just back off? Is that the plan? I can't jump on them. Oh, I'm not gonna get hit here. Oh, that was surprisingly lucky. Advancing slowly is a good method. Just because it lets me, um, get firmly out of the way if running happens. These guys I've got to advance on. This game is like that. Like it's so big, it hits me regardless of where I am. Or is this just I think this, this is my point about certain areas of this game feeling like the devs like intend you to take a hit, so you have to go get the power up. Like, it doesn't matter where you are on screen, that you can't... Like, none of your attacks function to dodge some of these things. But then there's power-ups everywhere, so is it the intention that you'll get killed enough that you have to take the power-up? This might be a thing where I sacrifice a life and then, uh... See if I can get, a like, a time stop or an invincibility from this... These rocks, maybe? Didn't turn in time. 
That was a hit, but the game went red strip because it wasn't like dead on. Let's see. Like, see, that's not something I can dodge. That's a hit I'm gonna have to take every time. Right there, there is a freeze in here. This, in theory, will let me get past the... the hell section here. This game feels like it was designed with these power-ups in mind. Oh, you got... You got... God, here we go again. Oh, it's normal, Luna. Oh, thanks, Luna. So you're implying that I've been sucking up to this point. Thank you. That's going to do my confidence a world of good. And also it healed me, so I'm going to save. Hey, Sailor Moon, you've been absolute shit. But now, please try. You won't succeed, but please try. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as a fan of the show, she she's a very forgiving monarch. Like, Queen Beryl needs better HR. Oh, we actually get a we actually get a bit of Queen Beryl, and she's trapped in a CRT TV. Prepare yourself. Mickey is still fondling your nipples for some reason. Ah, yes, victory by your own hand, unlike the last two. Is he going to... That was interesting. Oh, I didn't save! This is a very similar... Oh, I can hit him there, and then he'll come straight down. Okay, so he's st he cannot aim at me. And I balls it. Oh, I just, I'm going to have to like reset state because there isn't a way to kind of save. So I, I now I'll I'll have to save going into the um, cutscene, I think. Kind of don't want to save with one Okay, so Jedi, yeah. Prepare yourself! Oh, wait, let's keep going. By my life, I swear you. Victory by the hands of Mickey Mouse. Okay, so it's the same pattern again, basically. Wait for him to do that. Wait for him to hang. He'll drop. We young bucks him. We boing. We switch sides. Jedi is a man of many routines, but very few combat acumen. Young bucks him again. He's had all this time and has yet to learn a new move. Seriously, dude, just start crying. There's guns in the rocks. Just keep crying as hard as you can and eventually you'll find a gun. That's how I've been surviving this long. Kick. Boing. See the thing, at first these boss fights are quite hard to work out. But then, uh, when you've worked them out, they become trivial and they take too long. Which is interesting for a game from a game design standpoint. This does make me wonder. Oh, I balls. Okay, it's fine. I've just jumped through his stun. Now he's be here. Oh, I've lost the rhythm. There we go. Back in the rhythm now. That's good. Didn't want to lose the rhythm for too long. 
it does make me wonder about those first two. Was, is there another strategy I was missing by um, going through the enemies and using their um, hit invulnerability? Cause I, I can't think of how you would do it aside from what. Oh, you're too slow. Oh well. This isn't really that bad. I've got plenty of hits. Like, as long as I keep uh, focused on him, I should be alright for this fight. Those, uh, Hadoukens are a pain, but... They're a pain because the jumping on this game's a bit stiff, so that makes this very difficult sometimes. But, I think we're alright. I do think there's a bit of a... A dicky move from the devs is that so many of these boss fights start with something being thrown at you, like two seconds after a cutscene ends. So you're very, like, you're not sure if you're in control yet, and then suddenly something lunges at you, and you've just gotta take the hit. Oh no, he's gonna jump down. Oh, he's not. <laughs> I've lost four stages of the fight. It's too much. I've lost track. I've lost track of all of it. Oh, there we go. He's dead. Translation errors. What? What? I got another. Um. Save. What in like? See this fight? Like I wasn't prepared for it. What the? So how do I? Chill. Crackle electricity. Oh, I see. No. How do I tell where the electricity is coming from? What? I am very confused. How do I tell... How do I tell where that electricity is coming from? Is it a pattern? Left. Right. No, when it's left there, it summons right. Oh, do I just, am I just meant to, am I just meant to, like, dodge it by jumping? Oh, I see. Dodge by jumping. I'm just gonna wait for jump to come, I'm just gonna wait for it to come to me. Ah. Just keep jumping. Oh. I can just keep sparking her out. I think I just saw like pixel corruption there, or was that actually meant to be a thing? I'm not sure. I can stand next to her. Oh, I can just like, if I'm really lucky, I can clip myself onto the edge of her platform, just out of her hitbox, and then just pound her with a foot. Nope. Not sure what I'm doing here. She looks a bit like one that the gal got up Wonder Woman in this because of the sprite design. I guess the second she appears, I can just. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> She just turned like a tadpole. Yes, I did. <laughs> Be right back. Thank you, Tuxedo Mask. You did absolutely nothing in this game. 
Guess you win, eh? Oh, never run away from your duties, says Tuxedo Mask. Welcome to hypocrisy. But that's enough. <laughs> oh, if we, if we ended the game. To the. Well, there we go. I, this is actually, yeah, I think it's the end. Buy the DVDs. At this point, buy the VHS. She was Sailor Moon put out on VHS until after end. Well, there we go. That was the first Sailor Moon game on Game Boy. Wow, I actually beat a game. That's worryingly impressive. That's surprising competence for me. What time is it? You know what? Let's do 30 minutes of Sailor Moon R because that's the next game on Game Boy and I've already got that set up. So I am going to throw up a be right back and get that game up and ready to go. See you in a minute. This is Sailor Moon R. This is also on the Game Boy. This came out a couple of years later. Slight changes this time. I believe, I'm going to this blind still, that this is a mini-game compilation. However, this is not translated, unlike um, said the original Sailor Moon was. So I'm... my Japanese is awful. So prepare for flailing. Hence why I'm like, this probably won't be finished. I do like this rendition though, it's quite good. But it's, it starts with the. I'm waiting for it to loop round. But it starts with the boom boom noise, which at first made me thought uh, I think this was broken. Like it sounds broken. Let's go. Start button. So yeah, I believe this is mini games. So let's go from here. Hey, it's GBU sir. Pixel art some sort of improving quality. Whoa! My god. 
Gosh, Usagi is fast. Oh, I have a menu of things. Can I talk to you? Yeah, we're probably gonna get like not as far in this game because of just my Japanese is very slow. Well, they fixed my problem with the other game. Oh, that's a map. That's wonderful news. They fixed both of my problems with the game. We have a map for the walkie segments, and Usagi moves at a non-glacial pace. Can I go in here? Or is that just people I can talk with? This song sounds familiar, I'm not sure in what way. Oh, did that just give me a, um, arrow to say that? Yes! Okay, Luna looks less like a demon here. If we're rating these games on Lunaness, the Luna has vaguely cat like proportions. I can accept this. Still gonna be check talking to everybody, then jumping in. Let's see. I'm gonna go back to the arcade quickly and see if uh, I can go in there again. So what's over this side then? Oh, people. Probably should talk to them. Uh, I love all the games that this guy gets represented the best just because his design is so distinctive and weird. He's with Mars. Can I put the Mars separately? Wait. Mars? Oh, he's following me. Basically, I think we're still replaying episode stuff. Here. Show new friend. No. Oh, here we go. Okay, so having him with me does let me show him off. So we're... Come with me. Come meet my talking. Hey, Chibiusa. What do you have to say today? Something very inappropriate based on that facial expression. Okay, so he's gonna chime in with everybody, so I'm just gonna do a chat with everybody quickly and see. Yeah, I think we're redoing episode stuff, from what I can tell. Also, my memory of R isn't as good as my memory of um, the first season. Like, R was fine, I enjoyed it, but I remember it less than uh, the first season and uh, stars. Like, basically, I started really loving Sailor Moon when the... Uh, when the Outer Senshi joined up. That's when I got really into it. Unfortunately, the Outer Senshi, yeah, I need to turn you into a monster. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Funky. Shall I be honest? While the pixel art for this is, like, better on a, qual like a pure quality and representative of the show level, I kind of prefer the other game because it's much more stylized. Oh, hello, yeah, it's you. Oh. Twelve something. Oh no, we're playing Japanese gambling games. Let's get my Slay the Spire head on. Oh, it's, it's a match. King Queen is there. I hope, there we go. I hope people, if you're watching this, you uh, have a better memory than I do because I have a terrible memory. 
especially for numbers in this kind of format. Nine? Not seen that. Oh. Queen, there we go. The king of now. Wow. I get the feeling she just told me to sod off. Show Luna to people? Hey you. Do you want to see my cat? Hmm. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I hate these. With a burning passion. Oh, like I can't stand and these games. Oh, I want... I... Like, I hate these with all... My heart. Like, seriously, these are my idea of hell. And I wish I was kidding when I said that. These literally are my idea of hell. And I've, or I know, because there's, there is, I know I've seen that there are ways of solving these, like mathematically. And I have already botched it. I have already. fighting the last game, all that, I wasn't, that was the most stressful I've been for like a month. I can't stand sliding tile games. Can I talk to you again and get the other options? What does that do? Oh, not again. Oh, it's a different picture at least. I do wrong in a past life to I have made this worse Like for me, these these types of puzzles will always mean one thing and one thing only. Lazy game design. Like, ah, oh, filler, like... Nope. Oh, we're doing this again. talking to you again because I don't want to risk you giving me another slide puzzle. So no, we're never talking. How weird that is. Hello, would you like to do my sliding puzzle of doom? Hmm. 
No, I'm trying to... Or does Luna just not want to talk to her? I think Luna to Luna to see you. No. I miffed her uh, gambling puzzle up once, and now she refuses to talk to me. Actually, I should go show the guy at. Oh. Uh, the guy at the arcade, my cat. This is basically this game is basically Instagram the game. You just walk around showing people your cat. Amy, look at my cat. No, I'm serious. Look at my cat. Everybody look at my cat that no longer looks like a demon. Because... Hello. I have a cat. Would you like to see it? No, apparently not. Oh, please don't tell me I have to go solve his last puzzle. Chibi Yusa, you've seen my cat, but look at this cat again. You're obviously a fan, you have a ball with its face on. The Luna Pea Ball is really weird when you think about it. Like... It is this ball which looks like a cat that can turn into literally anything. Okay, yeah. No! <laughs> Why are you showing me pictures of my enemies? How does he have access to this? How does he have access to Polaroids of people I hate? I knew this guy was a bit of a dick, but that seems a bit unfair. I remember that guy who horrifically traumatised you? Well, here's a sliding puzzle of his face. Also, he's 90% hair, which makes this segment... because someone's probably in there screaming right now, but I have miffed this beyond miffing. I have really balled this, I think. out of time very soon and my suffering is over. the arcade person. No. Luna, will you help me with this? Thanks, Luna. No, I don't want to talk to Luna again. I want to talk to... Whoever designed this uh, didn't consider how hard it would be to talk to the person you wanted to talk to. Be very slow. 
Okay, yeah, that's no. Okay. I thought he was gonna do like a you must or something. Like, oh no, you've got to do my sliding puzzles. They're the only things that are keeping me alive. Not Luna. Luna, please stop getting involved in this conversation. You're not welcome. This is between me and the man who has cut up Polaroids of people I hate. Uh, one final go before I scream and cry for a million years. Let's actually not click on the button that says finish. Like an idiot. Oh, Jupiter this time. Again. Not sure why he has this cut-up photo of Jupiter just knocking around. But I think Jupiter might be... might be easier. Let's not. I, I love myself too much to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to reset to the start because there are a few other options I want to quickly check and then we'll probably uh, round out the scene for today. Here we go. Oh, this might be the. Uh, let's do someone who isn't Sailor Moon. We haven't actually... Okay, so this is the fight segment. It's weirdly both better and worse. Like, I can shoot while aiming down, and I have a range attack from. Oh, it's platforming now. Oh. amazing like th it's got things I think would be good like better hitbox and a uh, range attack but you move so slowly it feels like I'm moving through molasses still oh okay so we have the basic this is fine I'm not sure if we'd get we'd get to this during the adventure but hey it's nice to play as Venus we actually you know, this is the Obviously, you know, the other game was just Usagi all the time. Boing. Oh, her jump is less insane, at least. Oh, I guess we would, because the cake kind of suggests it's going to be a Usagi thing later on. I really missed that up. Plenty of health. Wait, hearts give you health. What does the cake do? The cake, our cake's full to full, I guess. You ready? There we go. Did you just run up behind me, then run off? Am I not meant to kill all these perfectly innocent nuns? Hello, I'm here to do nothing. 
Oh, black lady, that's nice. Too. Oh, the rose gives me abilities. Controls in this are bad. This is really, like, really. Are they hitting me or not? Oh. Josh, you'd change your pattern, though. Oh, killed her. Different stage design, everything. This is nice. Oh, there's actually some more to this then. Oh, but it's still full of evil monks. I'm... Oh, it's oh, it's Gelma, uh, Gelmax, Gelmax, the person who makes you into jelly. Oh, I like that. One of my favorite, like Sailor Moon villains. Is is Jellax. I really like their design and their concept. It was fun. Huh. Hmm. This is neat. I'm gonna reset again, and we're gonna go and look at one of the other menu menu options. Cause let's not dive uh, right into this yet. I think we'll leave that for another stream. Cause we're already just over the two hour mark. What's his option? Hey, it's Aramis, my old fella. Oh, Artemis has passwords. Okay, that makes sense. There's also no way... Oh, I'll select. Doesn't get me out. Just wasn't pressing it hard enough. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, this is what happens when I don't, when I don't translate. Well, that was fun. Let's not do this ever again. Oh. Sliding block puzzles are the one thing in games I hate. <laughs> well, there we go. We finished the first Sailor Moon game on Game Boy. And we've uh, looked into R a little bit. I might do some more of R. I want to look into see if I can find a guide for it because it's not translated. Especially for that adventure segment. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. So that'll be something where I need to find a guide for. But hey, we made some progress. I've also got some other Sailor Moon games I want to play. Specifically, Sailor Moon on the Pico, which is a variant of the Mega Drive hardware that had books. It was meant to be educational. There were some really interesting Sailor Moon games for that, like some dress-up games and stuff. We'll see. We'll see. The Pico is quite hard to uh, emulate in a visually pleasing manner. So we'll see how that pans out. Got some other games I want to play, including Fua Panic, which is the puzzle game. Because I've never played the sequel to that, because that was on the Seraphami Turbo which was a SNES add-on made by Bandai. Basically, to, from as far as I know, it was because uh, Nintendo was very picky if you could make cartridges with uh, innards, basically. The, so, like, the Star Fox cartridge that had the Mode 7 stuff, they were very weird about if you could do that, so Bandai made their own add-on called the Seraphami Turbo, and that add-on had um, basically all the Bandai properties, so Sailor Moon games for that, sequel to Fuar Panic, which is one of my favourite puzzle games, a Car Ranger game and a two Ultraman games. So I kind of want to get through that, especially the Car Ranger game, because I adore Car Ranger. So that might be what we do next, depending if I can get R to work properly or not. Either way, it's been great having you all here for this. And thanks for watching. Bye.